Now, a lot of you guys wanted me to do a tutorial on how I do the slide effects on my monkey edit. Now, first things first, if you're a beginner, go watch a tutorial because this tutorial is not really beginner friendly. So go get the basics down and then you can come back to this video. Now, make sure your composition is at 25 FPS or like frame rate. And then make sure it's 1920, 1080, name it, whatever. And obviously make sure preview is at 25 just in case. Nothing too crazy because you just want to make sure the composition is the same thing as the preview. Now, I previously did this tutorial, but I completely forgot to press record, so we're back at it again. Now, what you wanna do is grab your two clips. It could be videos, it could be pictures. It doesn't really matter. At the end, it's you're gonna get the same results. So here's the monkey looking at us and then looking this way. I cut off the end of it, so it'll be like, like that. So it'll be looking like that. And with effects, with a chic, it'll be looking way better. Then same with here, so here's the monkey coming in. So that's why I have this here, because I cut off the end of it, and then it'll be boom. With a shake or a scale, it'll be looking good. Now how I did this, how I paused the frame was basically I grabbed the end of this, right? And then I right clicked it, because these were able to still move because they were still part of the video. And then I press time, and then I press freeze frame. And that's what these boxes are for. So basically, if you were to move forward in time, this is what it'll look like. But with uh, freezing frames, it just completely freezes the frame. So that we have two individual frames as if they're pictures. Now we'd want to know how long we'd want the scale for it. And for this, we would have something around this would be nice. Yeah, something like that would be good. Nothing too fast, nothing too slow, you know, something just in between. So you just have that nice looking scale. Next, you'd want to make sure these two are aligned, right? And then just pre-comp them. So now we have this one pre-comp that matches your timeline. Now don't worry about the other clip or the other frame because we're gonna get to that later. So go into the pre-comp and see that everything's there. And then you wanna go to composition, comp settings. And then I would do 1920 by 6443. Now, now this would basically make room, I don't know how to explain it, but it basically makes, so if I were to do this, I'll just put, I'll just show you. If I were to do this, move this up, you can see that it has room. So if I were to connect it and I were to like scale it or swipe it or Y position it, then you would see what I'm getting at. So next, what you want to do is move the first clip or the first frame that you have, move it like all the way up, like something like right there will be fine. And hide the second one for now and then have two more so like basically you just go to effects and search up motion tile. Here it is. Now drag it to the first clip. Now once you got motion tile in here, you'd want to look for output height. I completely forgot to tell you, don't put it all the way up because now once you do, then the other output height would go up at the same time. So that's kind of my fault. So you'd want to put your output height now at 300. Yeah, 300 is not bad. And then just put the rest all the way up. So now you have three frames on one picture so then now you want to expose the second clip put it somewhere in the middle give it motion tile i'll put height 300 and make sure it aligns there you go now we have the fundamentals to make the swipe make sure they have motion blur on it and then pre-comp so now what you're going to do is go to composition comp settings again and then type in 1080. So now we have this normal looking screen. So then for position, make sure you have the first frame. So like, this is the third one. This is the, this is the second one. This is the third one. Make sure you go to the second one so you can zoom out on this. So now if you go on here, it matches. So now this is perfect for now for the swipe because now if we do the swipe, it's per it's, they're all in one. Obviously add motion blur to this and now we're ready to do the swipe. Now I completely forgot that if we were to scale, if we were to scale this out, it'll be looking like this. And that's because if we zoom out on here, the anchor points is down here. And if we were to scale it out, it's going to scale out to the anchor points. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go to anchor point tool right up here. And then what we're going to do is just drag it like somewhere in the middle, uh, go to fit. Somewhere in the middle, like right here, will be fine. Control, shift, just lock it right in the middle. Now go to your pointer tool again, and then we, now we should be able to do this correctly. 
So keyframe beginning, go to like middle, somewhere in the middle, maybe further a little bit, and then go like 54. And there you go, something like that. So then now, highlight everything, F9 to keyframe them, easy ease them, and then go do something like this. Okay, so now, I'm gonna slide down. So, we're gonna go to press P on your keyboard, uh, right click, press separate dimensions, and then go to the Y position. Press on the stopwatch, actually, and press U so you can see, press it again, yeah, so you can see where the scale is too. And then go to like close to the end, like here's fine. And then pan down or something, and then go like somewhere here. You don't wanna go to the third, nah, you don't, you don't wanna go to the third frame. You just wanna go like to the second one again. So then you can zoom in. So I think this will be the middle, if I'm not correct. Yeah, somewhere like here will be the middle. So then again, highlight them, F9. And then you would want to, you'd want to do something like right here, put it like, put the top one up here and then something like that. So it'll be like fast when it zooms out. So let me see. There you go. So now that we have the scroll, we can now go here and see if we got a good. Okay, so it's looking choppy because we don't have any CC or effects on it, but we're looking, we need a scale here. So go to this pre comp, not this, or else something would like mess up. And then go somewhere around here, press S on the keyboard, keyframe that, and then zoom in like, sure, something like that. So the next, yeah, yeah okay. Press F9. Zoom in a little bit, move this like that. Now move this down here actually. And there you go. Oh, I'm gonna put motion blur there. And actually you want to go back in and then actually make this tighter because this is looking like chop. You want to make this tighter because it'll go faster. So let me see this. So then it would get rid of that like cut. Regularly, if you're doing an edit, this would be looking choppy because this doesn't have any CC or um, shakes to it. I mean, we could do the background. I'll show you guys how to do the background as well. It's basically just grab something from the monkey edit. It doesn't really matter. Make it like this. Search up black and white. So yeah, you would want to search up black and white. Actually, it's BCC plus black and white. And then you want to do OBS blur, I believe. Oh, lens blur. That's what it was, I believe. Yeah, lens blur. If you want it to have that nice... So yeah, you want to go to looks. And if you want to have that nice zoom out, I think that's how you call it, zoom out. You just go to like lens distortion. There you go. And then it's like distorted like that. And then you would want to add like chromatic aberration. Add like a little bit of red and cyan. Yeah, yeah, that's what I had. And yeah, something like this would be fine. But right now I don't have any CC on, so. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly what I did. And then you zoom in. There you go. So so right now this is what it is without any CC or effects. It's choppy. I know. I mean, we have looks here with chromatic aberration and lens distortion. But, you know, just mess around with the settings. Add your CC. Add a uh, shake here so the cut won't look too obvious. Um, the CC will be looking way better because I had it for like, like have it like sharper. But you guys get the gist of it. It's it's that's how you do it simply. Like you just let me get rid of this. And you guys just came here for the scroll, so I got you guys. It's simple. It's just frame after frame. And you can do many things to it. It's not just CC and, uh, and shakes. You can do like you can do also like horizontally actually. Yeah. So you don't have to do it vertically. You can also do it like horizontally where it just starts to move from right to left. That'll be looking way cooler too. Or maybe if you're crazy enough, you can do it from diagonally. So, so that's basically it. You know, I didn't really add like a lot to it. I mean, you could go back to the CC, add lens distortion, chromatic aberration to add that nice little thing. Oh, and drop shadow. Let me see drop shadow. Oh, uh, there you go. And you can add, have it like shift it uh maybe oh you do not want to add it on the you don't want to add it on the adjustment layer you want to add it on this ah uh, there you go and then lower the opacity and yeah you see it just makes it much better to shift it a little bit this way so you right. can have this really it, it doesn't matter it's your choice 
So I hope this helps. That's how you make the swipe effect on my monkey edits. Please leave a, leave a comment if it works. You know, subscribe, you know. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.